What's in the Stars for You? We have Robin Armstrong with us. We move on because we've still got a lot to go. Okay. We're going into Leo. Leos are the dramatists of the zodiac, the, um, the kingly lion or the cowardly lion, whichever the case may be. This year, Leos, um, very, the problem with Leos, often they have delusions of grandeur. They get very fluffed up and they lose the foundation. You've also got to let them think they're running the show. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, Leos are really coming to terms with themselves this year. They're coming under strong disciplines, really defining what their goals are for a lifetime. They're deciding what they want to do with their are lives. Are you listening, Mother? <laughs> and it's a very, it's a very powerful one. It's strategy. It's planning strategies for a lifetime. It's not an easy one because there's certain disruptions, there's certain amount of things that are shaking the self-esteem, let's say, and forcing one to really get a hold of what they have to do and the work that they have to do in front of them. It will work out very well. There will work business-wise, work-wise, in terms of the, what they're going to be doing. It will come out very well. They'll come out very strong for it. But it's not an easy year. It's a very difficult year. The only way you get through it is working hard and not avoiding the slightest responsibility. It's actually dealing with the responsibility and doing the work on yourself that's necessary. Then the, then the next year's next of your years take off. Okay, now the next one is? Virgo is the next one. It runs from August, 20, uh, August 21st, 22nd to September 23rd. Now, the Virgos basically are the analytical, the critical, very exacting, defined people. Usually uh, overly concerned over diet, over their perfection, or their mm -hmm. own sort of uh, ideal of perfection. And this year, it's kind of 76, 77. It's kind of a year where it's really hard to see what's really real. A lot of energy is getting wasted. Very easily, a lot of weight could be put on. It's a time when things are not very, very clear at all. Again, another case of not seeing the forest for the trees. There's so much looking for perfection and exactness. And usually, the self-image is very defined. So Virgo's in a relationship of a relationship ends, it usually takes a couple of years for it to sink in that they might have had something to do with being at fault. So it's this type of situation. There's a, a difficult assessment of oneself and a tendency to lose energy. Virgo sounds like everyone's first husband or ex-husband. <laughs> <laughs> could, you, could you say that? Or would you say that? Well, no? I wouldn't yes? speak for mine. <laughs> okay. okay. Libra, we move on. Libra. Libra is is going into one of the, I would think, one of the more comfortable and very progressive years. The past five or six years saw, for, for about 80 years, people thought Libras were kind of wishy-washy, never did anything, always very kind, very, very sociable, but without much backbone. And in the past six or seven years, Libras have been coming out of the, out of the woodwork, being involved in Watergate, being uh, pr prime ministers, presidents, being involved in major political ventures, very str strong amounts of power and force, and using it in a way that's shocking a lot of people. This year, there's a tremendous understanding. Librans are, have developed over 76, a very tremendous understanding of where they actually are, and are preparing to make very real adjustments in their performance, in how they relate to other people, in their uh, business w worlds, in their social worlds, and it will not bring anything but success. It's working in a very wonderful way. What sign are you? I'm a Libra. <laughs> <laughs> Mazel tov. <laughs> and, uh, okay. We, we, let me see. We have about five or six more. So. Right. We'll take Scorpio. Scorpio is one of the most exciting ones right now. Scorpios are just really becoming free. They're becoming, their true genius is coming out of them for the first time in life. And this, will, this is actually something that will last five or six more They're years. They're the most sensual of the signs, aren't they? Well, there's three sensual signs, three of the most of the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Each are sensual in a very different way. Okay. Scorpio is sensitive, this is sensual and secretive. They won't talk about it. But lately, with Uranus and Scorpio, a lot of Scorpios are becoming blabbermouths. There's a lot of uh, deep hidden feelings and hidden emotions that are being released. A lot of the inner genius of the real feelings, the real uniqueness. Maybe Elizabeth Ray was the Scorpio. I don't know. You know that lady who pull down the American government over there? <laughs> anyway, she might have been a Scorpio. Is there more to say? Yes, I, I have to spend a few, an extra minute or so on okay. Scorpio because it's a time when you'll see your 
old way of the world and the, the restrictive things around you, if it's a marriage, if it's an old type of job that you do, that's not really you, it'll start crumbling around you. It's working yourself free so that you can be free. If you don't take it, if you don't believe in your own dreams and you're Scorpio and you aren't working towards them, it'll be a tremendously upsetting neurotic type of period. If you're working on your dreams to make what you believe real, independently, Freedom is a very key, but if you're working on that, it'll just unfold and you'll have more energy than you'll ever have in a lifetime. So it's a time to really move. Now, a favorite sign of mine, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Sagittarius is in a very, it's a sort of idealistic year. It's not, it's a year of coming to terms with one's own expansions, with the way one has been expanding out, say for about six years, there's been a way of social activity, of socializing, of understanding. There's been a certain understanding of life that has been fixed in for about six years with which Sagittarians have been going on. There's a major year of adjustment this year. It's having pushed things kind of to a limit, probably financially as much as anything else, and having to make very definite adjustments to reassess their performance. Now, it's a very mystifying, romantic year. There is a tendency to lose energy again, to not have enough in money as energy Mm -hmm. uh, physical energy as well. There's a tendency to not quite have enough, but a, a very definite need to work steadily on self-discipline and working through it because as the year passes, the understanding just wakes up and gets that little bit sharper and any self-disciplines that are worked on now will really pay off by the end of the year. So they are not going to have a very good year, really. I wouldn't say a negative year. I wouldn't say a positive. It's, it's pro well, See, negative, positive. In astrology, it's, it's negative the, gain, it's positive gain. It doesn't sound gain. anywhere near like the Libra year. It sounds like they're really going to have a bit of troubles there. A, a bit of reassessment, yes, definitely. Yeah. More, of a, more of a reassessment of their own attitudes around expansion, around, and Sagittarians are it's one for expansion. It's because where Sagittarians used to be the world leaders, the Churchills, um, a lot of them. Now the Virgo, Vir, uh, Virgos. Virgo, no, I mean Libras. Libras, are coming, are, Libras mm -hmm. are coming up. Scorpios will start coming out tremendously into very uh, electrical world situations. The world situations that are building up with Uranus and Scorpio. You'll find the Scorpios are the people that will be able to deal with it. Okay. Now, what about Pat Capricorn? January. Capricorn through the end of December and January. Capricorn is again in not. It's been put through. Capricorn had its had a really, 74 and 75 were about the lowest points in a Capricorn's 30 years. It's really, it's been a really low, heavy period. Coming out of that, it's really, everything else seems light. There's a very sound understanding. 76 developed very nicely. It, after, they, after the heavy started leaving and the restrictions and the limitations started leaving, things have been picking up continually. And I would say we continue so this year without I would consider any major crisis. Any crisis that come up will easily be dealt with compared to the ones that have already been dealt with. I don't see any major upheavals necessarily coming through. I look at crises as opportunities for change, as opportunities for growth. And they're very necessary things. If you're ready for them, if you're using them, they make the, it makes the world a difference. If you get hit by one and you're not expecting it, it upsets. Okay. What, could, think, what could, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Even, no, what could Aquarius? Aquarius are, are the The age one, of Aquarius. The age of Aquarius, first of all, is not a very, is not going to be as ideal as everyone is dreaming about. It is an age of equality. It is an age of sisterhood and brotherhood, of everyone being more or less equal. But in astrology, no one is really equal. Everyone has different potentials. So when you think from an astrological viewpoint of an Aquarian age, you begin to think everyone equal. You begin to think of space ages, yes, scientific ages, yes, but you also begin to think of sort of military-like areas areas of sort of very strong socialistic living. And to me, that's a sort of barb point because I'm a very strong individual. And I'm a little bit afraid of some of this very, ex this tremendous group movement. It's at, it may be at the expense of individual creativity. Aquarians this year are going, are really having to come to terms with themselves. It's probably the most difficult and hardest year of a lifetime. It's, it is a year of Facing one's own limitations. Now, I look at it forewarned as forearmed. I don't say anything that can't be used in a positive way. But it is one of the years where you collect what you've got coming. And you have to look at it. Now, where Aquarians usually don't like is they don't like to be alone. And 
I would think that generally most Aquarians are going to have to face a certain amount of their own loneliness and their own aloneness without running around trying to fill it up, have to come to terms with themselves, realize that the problem is not in everyone around them, not allowing them to do what they want to be doing, but the problem is in an attitude within themselves that's been there for about 14 years that is finally having to change and it's long overdue. So it's a time when you can't just jump out of something and, and, and you might go from the frying pan into the fire by just throwing away the responsibilities. It's a time of biding your time, dealing with it, facing your responsibilities, dealing with it, waiting. It'll start to shift through the okay. next year and it'll start to ease up a lot. Now, Pisces, and I think we've done the 12. Pisces will do it. Pisces is, again, in a very, Pisces are very romantic to start with, very idealist, kind of the Don yes. Juan or Alice in Wonderland, and all the more so this year. There's a lack of definition, there's a lot of grand schemes, there's a lot of big dreams, but a tremendous vulnerability to self-deception or disillusion or il illusion, both in their relationships, in their own identity, around their own purpose. It's a very, it can be a very fantastically exciting year, but the foundation is not what it seems. It's not something that can be ridden on forever and very likely could incur a tremendous amount of expense on one level or another. But nothing to be, it's, these things come, their timings, they're set, and they're not to be avoided, they're to be lived. And when I mention these more serious side of things, it should be uh, looked at and cautioned against. They can be watched for, they can be controlled. Robin Armstrong, we are watching and controlled by a commercial right now. <laughs> That's your year in the sun, the moon, and the stars. Thank you, Robin Armstrong. Come back next time.